What is going on boys and girls? My name is Adam Lucy and this is Moving Weight Fishing and we are in the Bahamas. We got Young Moose, we got Red Ghost, we got Burning Time, chunking up some Sandy Keys, we got Annika in the front of the boat laying on the bead bag and we got a absolute gnarly storm off of our west. Look at the radar. So, that being said, we got some really, really, really great footage for you guys coming up. We did just dive one spot and we shot a couple nice fish and I'm sure it's gonna be the thumbnail. Um, but we only got to dive one spot, put a couple nice fish in the boat and then we had this storm. So we're kind of just putzing around. I don't wanna have divers in the water while we have a storm around. Stuff, you know, crap hits a fan quick and I'm not trying to have people in the water when they need to be in the boat, we need to run away from the storm, you know? So we're playing it safe, taking it nice and easy, cleaning up the boat, this, that, and the third, yada, yada, yada. But if you guys are going to enjoy this video, because I know you're going to enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe if you have not already. We're back to doing some diving footage, some diving YouTube videos. I know you don't get to see those much on this channel, but when we get to come over here to the Bahamas, that's what we do. And it, I got some really good footage for you. Also, if you haven't checked out our previous Bahamas videos, I'll have a link in the description below. We filmed a couple other videos, yellowfin tuna fishing, doing some other diving, and tomorrow we're gonna do some deep drop, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, we're gonna wait for the storm to clear and we'll see you guys back in the water when it does. What is going on, boys and girls? My name is Adam Lucy. if you did not already know that. Um, we're starting off this video underwater, of course, doing some spear fishing in the Bahamas. And I believe it's Ryan went down and tried a nice hog. Hey, wait. I didn't get. Bobo was chirping over there. Nice elephant grouper. I actually saw this grouper pointed out to Ryan. Thought he was a nice black and ended up being a elephant. And this fish was spooky. But he holed up right here. And Ryan's just assessing back and forth, seeing where he went. Really? He's that, how big was he? Okay. Dude, a big, big yellow thing and black. I correct myself, maybe there was a black too. I don't know, there's a lot of fish seen this day, so... Sometimes I get them mixed up, you know? Uh, a small black will sometimes look like a yellow fin. That's a shot you dream about, boys and girls, right there. Lights are off, and nobody's home. Absolute stone hooker. for fuel. Come on, Dennis. And, uh, never want to feel so bad in my life, even though I got to pay seven bucks a gallon for it. But we haven't been able to do anything outside of walkers the past two days, but we shot some fish right out front. Really fuel. Annie's, Annie's getting some new life in her back at the dock, away off the ocean. Yeah, she gets on the ocean. So we're going to put a game plan together here and see what happens. Not a big hog, but a perfect eating size fish, and they're hard to pass up on. I'll tell you what. Ruben Ryan. 
guys whipping us around right now. We got the crew, we got 5-0, Maddie B, we got Annie Bird in the back. 5-0, everyone's been asking about you. What's going on? What do they want to know? Should they come to Grand? Well, if they want to catch some fish. They want to catch some fish and have a yeah, good time, right? Catch some fish, have some good time with the locals. Yeah, why not? That's right. And you, if you want to hear some of 5 -0 stories, well, first of all, you got to be a real guy. 5 is just not going to talk to anybody. You know what I mean? If, if 5 -0 approves, maybe he'll talk to you. Maybe. And he's got some good stories. Right, 5 -0? Truthful story. Truthful. All, all truth. And then he come off the reef and it lines out. Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> but you'll, maybe you'll hear something tonight at dinner. You share him a little story tonight at dinner? Definitely. All right. All right. We'll see you at dinner, boys. I got five on some scraps. And he puts it like five inches from your face. So right. It's a little intense. Five on scrapping. Okay. We just got some dinner. We got the Nassau. We got the blackened. We got the rice and peas. Nanny Bird. Good stuff, Nanny? Mm-hmm. Sun is going down, and we're about to do some Kubera fishing here in a little bit. Five, what do you got to say? I like mine. Yeah. I'll cook tomorrow. Okay, are you? Yeah, but you're not going to eat. <laughs> I ain't going to be here. <laughs> I'm not going to be No? Next time you come, I wait for beer. So you have dinner with me every night. Okay. That was the plan, but she had to go. Okay. Yo, what's good, guys? Red Ghost giving you a report out here. It is about 9.30. About 9.30. Nice 10 o'clock. Nice Kubera market. We are man. Kubera fishing. We got Adam. Yeah. Being all frivolous. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. going on? We're out here. We got Maddie B. Beverly. Wow. And Dude, uh, what is that scrapping? It's a floater. It's actually. All right, we're going to get a bait rigged up and then we'll see in a little bit. Moon's coming up right now. I don't know if you guys can see it way off in the distance. Come on. You're not going to tell me that wasn't a bite. That was a bite. Yeah, that is a bite. We're getting bit right now. No, I got him. Lost the bait. Just got absolutely smoked, you guys. Oh my god, that was him. What the? For a second. Yeah, he did. I thought he came on. It went slack for like a quarter of a second, and then it reloaded. I think mean, it might have been the rubber band breaking. All right, we're fishing bait number two. The moon is out. We just got our first bite. We were fishing for like an hour without a bite. Boys got a little bit discouraged and we did just have our first bite. Guaranteed Kubera had him on for like five seconds and he just broke us off. I don't know if it's in the reef or what really happened, but uh, yeah, sucks. But we just put another bait down and hopefully we get another bite. You guys will be the first to hear about it. All right, boys and girls, it is our last full day here in the Bahamas. We got the crew on day six or seven. I don't even know. Matt, Annie, Red Ghost. And we were spot locked in front of a spot. I had a couple conch slabs from yesterday and I just threw a couple in the water and, and a black grouper literally just came up and inhaled it. And I tried to fish a bait for him, but he didn't eat it. Um, but we do know this spot holds blacks. That's why we came here. And sure enough, he came up mid water culminate. It was really cool to see. So we are gonna hop in the water and hopefully shoot one, but probably not. Okay, Matt's got an 80 pound black on right now. Ryan, Ryan's going to shoot. <laughs> Dude's got his mask on. I got on. my mask on. Thank you. That a giant black, Matt? Yeah, take my, take this off, it's in my way. We were literally about to hop in and Ryan says they're under the boat. Blacks everywhere. Yeah, Ryan shot it. Oh, yeah. oh my god! 
Ryan's getting attacked by sharks. Okay, he shot the black that we were fighting. I don't know. Oh my god. That is insane. Told you, you got to fish a bait. He smoked the Sandy Key. Got him on the 30 wide, baby. Penn International. Got it done. That's a, that's a, that's a 50 pound black. Hold that thing up. Holy smokes. Oh my god, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. A little teamwork. A little teamwork teamwork action. We needed that one, boys. Was he in a hole? Yeah, yeah, he was out, then he went right back in the hole and I smoked up. Is your GoPro on when you shot it? I'm like, I'm like, he's floating up, Brian shot him. Look at the circle hook, smoked him. Oh, god. Get in the hole. Oh my god, that is a freaking giant, dude. Here. That's so sick. Oh. Matt, what no, do you have to say? Anymore, I'm like, that has no. to be him. That's your biggest fly, <laughs> that's your biggest fly Matt? Well, I mean, I got Ryan shot it. I mean, I think it was a teamwork <laughs> it was. effort. We tried to in the boat. Yeah. That is the absolute behemoth of a... Dude, he's... Yee-hoo! That is what we needed, boys and girls, badly very badly that is a giant black grouper yeah, over boy. here in the bahamas yeah boys a little teamwork action okay so we hopped in the water because we couldn't help ourselves and there were black groupers everywhere i took a long shot on a nice fish here not a big one and i didn't want to let go of the rubber band because it would have went to a never-ending cave so i held it with all my might grunted over for matt to come grab it and he did. Yo, I almost had him out, but I was scared of the sharks. Shot a l nice little black. Of course, my GoPro has no battery ever, but we'll take it. And it can line it up on a nice hog, and her hand kept slipping with the uh, rubber bands. The first time using a bolster, so she wasn't used to that feeling. And we need to get her a little bit nicer with a full screw. So I had to go down on this hog, and he was quite spooky, but this is about the perfect size hogfish right here. And I just wait for him to give me that broadside shot, and not a stone shot, but a great holding shot. Explain to the GoPro what happened there, babe. Okay, so I saw this little guy putzing around in the distance, and I tapped on Adam, and I was like, okay, I'm going to make a dive. And I, I got the shot, I went down to make the dive. I grabbed, I had already preloaded the full spear, and then I went down, and it slipped. And he didn't get scared or anything, so I reloaded it again, and I was about to, then it slipped again. And then I had to come up and catch my breath. And then he was on the move, so we followed him around for like, 10 minutes straight into right? the current into the current and then we he was not stopping we were gonna wait until he stopped and then he wouldn't stop he finally stopped adam's like okay you want to go down and make your shot i'm like yeah she got turned on she was winded like i'm way too tired so then adam went down and shot him but this 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 hog was on the move but there'll be plenty of more there'll be plenty more pretty pretty hog fish look at their head nice and beautiful Annika's loading up. She's going down, and this is her second hogfish ever. She got a nice shot in it, and it ripped out, but she was so upset. But you gotta stay patient. He's not going far. So she got her breath again, made her dive down. Put another shot in it. She loves spear fishing, so she was never wanting to get out of the water. No shot. Brian shot that big bass though. I thought he was bigger. You shoot him? That thing's giant. <laughs> So 
So Ryan shot a nice Nassau grouper. No footage for that, but I went down and helped him out the extraction. Boys and girls, that is it for the Bahamas trip. We are headed home as of right now. We did net some more bait, just in case we run into God knows what on the way home. But don't, Ryan, you Ryan, you look like you're running a rust end. Yeah. You are? You don't want to go around the corner? No, I am. Oh, yeah, go around the corner. Come on, Reach. It's always very depressing, boys. depressing day when you're coming home from the Bahamas. We'll be back. We'll be back. The water doesn't get more clear than this, you guys. Look at this. This is absolutely insane. So, 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 so clean. We haven't seen clean water like this the whole trip until we run home, of course. Look at it with my glasses on. Ocean eyes, baby. I don't even need them right now. 